Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super chill, probably a little long. So if you don't like talking videos, then I would suggest that you do not watch this. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I've decided to do a Q&A along with it. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to know. I'm also going to be just kind of just rambling at some points as well. So I'm just going to stop talking and get right into it. I'm going to use the um, Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer first just to kind of um, lay out the hairs and put them into place as well. Okay guys, so I had to outline my brows because I can't talk while doing my brows because it just takes so much concentration. But anyway, I'm filling in my brows with the Smashbox Shape Matters Eye Palette and I'm using the shade called Canyon and this is a multitasking eyeshadow palette. So you could use this for like your actual eye makeup or you could use it for your brows and even use it as liner. And for outlining, I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in Sick. Common question that I got was about school and how I juggle school and YouTube and just my whole entire social media platform. And basically, I make school my number one priority so if I have an exam coming up um, or I have like an assignment to finish then obviously that gets put before doing makeup filming videos taking pictures you know um, just depends on the semester if it's a busy semester I do everything on the weekends or um, I'll block out time periods on my free day like during the week um, I'll block out some time periods so that I could get stuff done for my Instagram and if it's not busy week or if it's not busy semester then I will usually start doing makeup like right when I get home I try to get morning classes that's what I try to do I try to get morning classes and I try to get everything done as soon as I can so I could get home and do stuff for my social media accounts and then some of you asked what I was going to school for I am a business major I haven't declared my concentration yet and it's funny because I actually was a chem major before so I switched to business fall 2015 and that semester I was only taking one class that's so much free time I felt like I was wasting my life away because I wasn't really doing anything but I switched to business and so far so good classes are not as stressful as chem anymore so it's a good thing I was really stressing when I had when I was a chem major. So I'm just gonna clean everything up now. I'm using the Benefit Highbrow and then I'm gonna blend that out with a Sigma E15 brush, which is like a flat definer brush. Also, a lot of you guys were asking about my hair and what I told my stylist, what kind of style I wanted. I actually just showed her a picture of the color that I wanted on Pinterest. I will link it down below if I could find the picture. It looks nothing like the picture that I showed her, honestly, but I still really love my hair. The main thing that I wanted to do to my hair was go lighter for spring because my roots were actually darker. It was my dark brown hair and my hair is so dark, like almost black. So I kind of just showed her what I wanted and she put some highlights in my hair. So usually when I go to like the hair salon and they ask me what I want, I just show them a picture. It's just the easiest way to tell them what I want rather than just saying, oh, I want like an ombre or highlight but I would say to definitely show a picture instead just so that they could visually like see it so I'm gonna set my brows now with the clear eyebrow gel by the brow gal this was from one of my boxy charms and I really like this formula I ran out of my Anastasia one the Anastasia brow gel is like one of my favorite oops so for primer today I'm gonna use the new Smashbox Primers. This is the Photo Finish Lid Primer in white. I'm just gonna apply it to my lids. What I like to do is apply it to my lids with the applicator and then blend it out with a brush. And I'm using the Real Techniques Crease Brush. Some of you ask what I plan on doing after I graduate. Honestly, I would love to make like YouTube and Instagram my whole career, like just being a beauty influence influencer a career of mine but it's so hard. If it doesn't work out, I would love to do, I would still like to do something with social media. I was a social media intern for a 
company last semester and I would do blog posts and post on their Instagram and uh, on their Pinterest and Facebook so that's something that I really enjoy doing if I can't doing this beauty influencer as a career itself I would love to still do something within the social media world so another question is what's my favorite candy i am a sour candy type of girl so anything sour um i would say my favorite that's it um the sour lips from sugar fina which is like expensive ass candy but those are bomb as hell and how did tin and i meet so i'm gonna set my eyes with just a white shadow so we have the same group of friends that where we would go to the same events together how we met tin and i were actually best friends before like he was one of my closest friends actually when i first met him or when i first talked to him like all of us kind of met through tumblr and all of us um we're just mutual friends and we just like the same things you know and i actually they used to always have like these little tiny chats and you know all of us would come together say hi because all of us don't really live in california all of us like live like in arizona hawaii norcal we were in a tiny chat and Tin was always like this guy who always will reply back to my post with like ridiculous gifts and I'm just like what the hell who is this guy like why does he keep commenting and it was actually my birthday when I went on to tiny chat and he said happy birthday to me and then that's when I was like okay I guess I'll follow you back on tumblr and after that we became like best friends we were so close and I don't know Something happened and then we ended up together. I mean, we've been together for basically four years this year, so I guess it turned out okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use my shadow shields. These have helped me make sure that I get a nice sharp tween edge and you could buy them at Walmart. And today I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Marvelous Moss Palette. If you guys watched my favorites video, you guys know that I did not shut up about this and I have not shut up about this on my Snapchat or anything else. Um, Next question is, how did I get into makeup? I got into makeup around middle school and that was when I was really into dark black eyeliner around the eyes like raccoon eye makeup eye makeup because I was like a huge scene emo kid back then and that was the kind of eye makeup that was really eye-catching to me when I saw these other like famous scene queens on my space um, do that type of eye makeup so that is what I liked and then as I got older and I got into high school is when I kind of got into like more glam eye makeup looks and I started doing more um, makeup looks that glam gold bronzy was my thing back in high school and then when I got into college is when I discovered falsies as when I kind of got better at makeup as well and now we're here most embarrassing moment you and Tin had as a, had as a couple Honestly, I can't recall any embarrassing moments, like really embarrassing moments. I only remember him getting so drunk and that's probably like embarrassing, but it's not even that bad. I was just embarrassed because I was the one who had to take care of him and we were at like a concert. I believe we were seeing Armin Van Buren like a few years ago at the Hollywood Palladium and he was so drunk and the medics came because he was like leaning over a trash can throwing up and the medics came and asked if he was okay and I was like oh gosh like he's making me talk to them I can't believe this and I was like oh yeah he'll be fine uh he just needs to get it out of his system and right after I said that he ended up walking to the bathroom but he went he walked towards the girl's bathroom and I'm, I had to run and get him to take him to the guy's bathroom it's not really an embarrassing moment together but it's not really embarrassing, I mean, that happens, right? And I had to sit in like the the drunk tank and to wait for him to, you know, recover. How long did it take for you to per perfect eye makeup and did you go to any makeup school? It took me a long time, um, mainly because I didn't wear makeup every day and I didn't practice every day. I got really good around like senior year of high school, um, freshman year of college. And like I said, um, like high school is kind of when I got into more glam looks. So it took like a good, couple years till I started getting better at eye makeup. Did I go to makeup school? No, I didn't. I learned everything off YouTube actually. What was the worst makeup product you ever used that was high-end? I guess the worst was the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is funny because that's my first ever 
high-end eyeshadow palette. I mean, I don't even have it anymore. I gave it away. I barely touched it. I'm not really a big fan of the Naked palettes. So who inspires you? And I also got a similar question that was if I had any Asian beauty influ influencers that inspire me. And I'm just going to name like the ones that I've been watching since ever since I got into makeup and that would be Michelle Fawn and Sophia Chang. Um, those two are the ones that I have been watching ever since in middle school, high school. And I would get inspiration from them for doing makeup looks. As for on Asian views, I love Katie Lester Lux. I've also been watching her for a few years. I think I stumbled upon her bronze eye makeup look like when she first started YouTube in like her wedding day makeup look and I just loved watching her videos that I was hooked and then just to see how much she's grown since then is so amazing. Um, she still is like my number one favorite beauty guru ever. Do you like to put your concealer on before or after your foundation for dark spots? Um, I put my concealer on after foundation but I don't really conceal any dark spots because my foundation does a good enough job to conceal that already. Um, so I only use concealer to highlight my under eyes and other parts of my face. So I don't really just like spot conceal certain areas. What pushes you to keep doing what you love even with all the hate on social media slash how do you deal with it? Um, to be honest, I think I'm still kind of small so I haven't really dealt with like a lot of hate. Um, I usually just ignore it. <laughs> Uh, it usually doesn't phase me um, really some people are not gonna like you so I don't really make a big deal of it But then again, like I said, I don't get a lot of hate on any of my pictures um, If anything, I just block them. What do you miss the most about the old? Quote rave scene slash culture. I wouldn't even say that I like I'm like a OG raver after EDC 2010 with that incident and they changed like the age limit on everything I had to wait so I just waited till I was 18 which was 2012 and my first rave was Escape from Wonderland. But it definitely still from then compared to now, it definitely has changed. I mean, going to EDC last year, the vibes are just kind of off with the people. I miss how the artists used to like play good music, but now it's like all complete shit. Even with trance, which used to be like my number one like favorite music ever. I've, Ever. I don't know everything is starting to sound the same and even before trans like progressive progressive house progressive trans was my favorite so I'm kind of leaning towards like more techno and side trance for my favorite music now out of the electronic genres you know you have like new people coming into the scene you're gonna have to deal with it so I don't go to that many events anymore actually I don't have the energy I'm so tired I used to be able to go like back to back but I think that sucked all the energy out of me so now I'd rather just stay home on the weekends if anything I'll go to like an underground I won't make the effort to go to like any big festivals unless the lineup is really good the best foundation for oily skin so I personally don't have oily skin I have normal skin but I've heard great things about the L'Oreal Pro matte foundation this is like the best part because you can see how clean it is but now i'm gonna get ready for like falsies and i'm gonna wear my iconic today i'm sure you guys are like does she use any other lashes i'm gonna use the pore minimizing primer by smashbox so some of you guys want to know like what are three products that i cannot live without i would say eyebrows falsies and foundation so for foundation we for our foundation today, I'm gonna to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 209. This is just a little bit too dark for me, so I like to mix in a lighter foundation. I'm actually gonna try this out today. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in white, just to kind of lighten the foundation a bit. I have used this for the past couple days and I actually really like it. So actually one of you actually asked um, how was it to do a campaign with NYX and if you guys didn't know I was a part of their launch for their total control drop foundation. I remember getting the email. If you guys, if you guys can't already tell I'm very shy and kind of awkward. 
awkward. I kind of was like, I don't know if I should do this. <laughs> and I feel like if I said no, then I would regret it later on. So um, I ended up, you know, taking the chance and saying yes to the photo shoot for their um, foundation campaign which was, which launched back in December, but the photo shoot was um, in October. So it was a few months away from the actual launch date. And when I first got there, it was super early in the morning. Tin actually came with me. At first, it was kind of intimidating because you're with other girls and some of them have big followers. You kind of feel like you don't fit in. And that's how it is like with parties as well for me. They did their hair and makeup with the foundation. It was like a super, nat super natural look. I'll post the photo in here if you guys haven't seen my picture from the photo shoot. But it was such a cool experience though. Um, I'm really lucky to have worked with NYX for that exciting launch. And being <laughs> in their PR boxes for that um launch was really cool too i definitely don't regret saying yes um it was a good experience i got to meet new people um, make new friends other question i got asked was what's my favorite side trance bj and what like side trance festival i would want to go to um if you guys didn't know but i'm like huge on music techno in Trance are my favorite, specifically Psytrance. My favorite Psytrance artist, that's kind of hard, but right now I would say Outsiders is my favorite, or Mad Max. A festival that I would love to go to would either be Azora, Boom, or even um, in Brazil, the Universo, I can't even say it, Universal Par Parallelo. <laughs> I can't say it, but yeah, uh, I would love to go to a Psytrance festival, but I can't afford to go right now just because school. I know I kind of answered this already at the beginning. If I would want this to be my, like a, being a YouTuber or beauty influ influencer like as my full-time career and I would love to do that but I just feel like it's so hard right now. I'm sure you guys have seen me complain about the algorithm that Instagram implemented like last year. So I found that it would, it has been kind of hard to grow on Instagram now. Like before the um, algorithm, I'm gonna use the tart shape tape to highlight my under eyes and everything. Before the algorithm, I was having like a steady stream of followers, amazing engagement, but then the algorithm happened and I actually don't get as much engagement as I used to, like when I had less followers than I do now. And it's just been kind of hard to grow. I've been trying to do different stuff, more product shots, um, OOTDs, I try to just do more on my Instagram is why I think engaging with your followers and bringing your own personality really plays an important role when you're trying to do like YouTube or Instagram or just being a beauty influencer just cause you know, this industry is kind of, there's a lot of people and it's kind of saturated. I would love to make this my career, but I am not too sure right now with how everything is. If you asked me this a year ago, I would say yes. I would definitely make it my full-time career. Um, I could definitely like see it in the future happening, but as of right now, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I feel like this will just remain kind of like a passion and hobby, like a side passion project. It is what it is. I love doing this, so it's okay if I can't make it like a full-time job, but as long as I get to put content out, we'll still be happy about it. So I'm gonna bake under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's kind of hard to film and talk at the same time. I feel like I'm going a lot slower, but I also like it because it's like kind of chill. But while that's kind of baking, I'm gonna start contouring and I'm gonna use my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is my all time favorite. I'm gonna use a Morphe M462 brush. Also someone asked, what are your top three tips for people just starting off with makeup and what are the top five basic makeup items a beginner should have? Three tips for people starting off with makeup. Keep practicing, definitely keep practicing. I know that like a lot of people always ask me like, how did you get so good at it? But honestly at the beginning, I was terrible at makeup, but I would practice anytime like any during any free time that i had just to get 
better now I'm here so I would say keep practicing don't get discouraged if your smoky eye does not turn out like what you see on YouTube tutorials or on Instagram another tip is take care of your skin because that really does play a big role in how your makeup will look especially like your base your foundation another tip I have is don't avoid drugstore products I know that some people prefer high-end products but what why is there a bobby pin on my benefit oh my gosh some people think that high-end is always the best that's not necessarily the case especially like when it comes to products that you don't need to buy high-end in like mascara drugstore mascara works um great i love the l'oreal one that's one of my favorites um Maybelline also has amazing mascara and also liner as well. Like you don't always need to get the most expensive product. Five basic makeup makeup items a beginner should have. If we're just talking about makeup items and not really skincare products, then I would say foundation, tinted moisturizer, or something like that. Just to kind of even out the skin tone. The powder could be translucent. If you want to do like eye makeup looks, then at least like one like eyeshadow quad, like a neutral eyeshadow quad makeup look would be great to wear that with anything if you don't want to do like obviously bold colors a primer primers are really important i think i like using face primers and eye primers for everything and i think it does really make a big difference i'm gonna say highlighter because i love highlights i love how it like kind of just makes your skin look glowy it makes you look more like awake and alive you know what i mean so your skin could look like crap but then once you pop the highlight on it It'll bring like a nice glow. So I'm gonna move on to blush now. I'm gonna use my Sigma Aura Powder in Nymphaea. I have a coupon code for Sigma products. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it in this video. Um, also down in the description box, it is an affiliate code, so I will get some money off of it. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but if you would like, I'll just leave it down below if you're interested. Also, a lot of people kind of like to ask me, what are some tips to get started on a beauty YouTube or like a beauty Instagram. The first tip I'm gonna give you is just like start on it. Don't think twice, like start on it right away if it's something that you really wanna do. Um, just start, you know? Uh, it's one of the things that I kind of regret because I actually started in 2013, but then I start, I stopped posting videos because I was like, you know what? My content is not as good as the ones out there. But you know, all of us start somewhere. My quality was really bad at the beginning. I watched my YouTube videos, like my very first YouTube video, like a couple weeks ago, and I was just horrified. And that's when I had no lighting. Um, I had a DSLR, but it was an old one, and I had no idea how to work it. If you want to start doing this, then just start. Like, use what you have, and from there you could kind of build on um, with your equipment and your setup and all that. You'll see improvement along the way. Another thing is to stay consistent with your content. Another thing that I would say, I'm gonna use my Champagne Pop highlighter for my highlight. I haven't used this in a long time. I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of the video, but bring your personality into your panels, interact with your followers. I'm gonna finish up the eyes now, and I'm just going back in with the Marvelous Mobs palette. I know I kinda of told you how Tin and I met. For the longest time, I kept telling everyone, like, we're not dating at all like we were never official it's kind of weird because we never made ourselves official we didn't have like an official day where we decided oh we're boyfriend and girlfriend we kind of just picked a date um we like looked at the calendar and we were just like okay this date will be our anniversary to be honest i don't even know what pick what date we really picked something in september i think like september 8th I'm so bad. I would keep telling everyone like Tin's not my boyfriend. He's just like my best friend. We just hang out all the time. Um, you know, we weren't really official. He didn't like ask me to be his girlfriend. It would just kind of just went along with it. And eventually we just started calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend. So um, definitely different from like my past relationships. I've never had like such a chill relationship before like this where, you know, he doesn't really make a big deal out of like dates and anything um we don't really celebrate like oh it's our four year anniversary we're gonna go out to dinner and have a nice date night together because usually like when we're together it's usually always like a date night if we're going out to the movies it's really simple with us really um both of us are not really picky with like how we celebrate certain things one thing i really like 
about our relationship because everything is just so chill and we just like kind of just go with the flow you know like we could just lay in bed and then like show each other like pictures of dogs and we'll like we'll, we'll get so excited over that we did used to go to like a lot of events together like i said we like the same type of music but um tin is uh five years older than me so he always claims like i'm broken my body's gonna die like my body's deteriorating so he's like the grandpa while i still have a little bit of energy in me and i could still go out um so i am the one who kind of forces him outside to go out to go out to the clubs and whatnot so he would rather just stay home if anything okay so i'm gonna finish off the makeup look with my lip now and i'm gonna use the colored rain liquid lipstick in sugar this formula is really nice as well but it smells kind of weird which is why i don't like to wear as much because it smell and i am pretty much done this is the finished look my hair is like crazy right now but um really a purple mauve eye makeup look with a pink nude lip thank you guys so much for watching and asking questions i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see more chit chat videos um i know usually i do like talk or talk throughs voiceovers on my um makeup tutorials but i would love to do talk throughs if that's what you like um, I kind of just want to make more videos like this so you can kind of see more of my personality rather than just hearing me um, talk about how I apply my makeup on. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see you next time.